Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss microcomputer, memory, expansion warp drive, sensors, high pressure, low pressure sensor, tube sensor, overload sensor. Here we have IPM for fan. So this IPM have these three resistors, one, two, three, and it have same operational amplifier, which is here for overcurrent detection if you have any issue in current drive it will give feedback and it will cut the drive for the IPM all sensors are connected through series resistors every line is connected to a resistor and a coupling capacitor for removing ripples expansion valve drive is here ULN2003 how to test ULN2003 I uploaded already a test procedure for these ICs. These ICs are connected directly to microcontroller. Microcontroller will drive the input side and it will drive the output side to exp for expansion valve. This is serial port. It have 3.3 volts ground and RXD TXD. It is used to communicate, connect PC with this microcontroller and communicate with the PC computer it will use this port and these two are coming to this point 3.3 volt is connected to processor power supply ground is connected to common ground and these two lines are connected directly through these two resistors microcontroller have six lines for this IPM and six line for this IPM all lines are driving and we have two lines here to drive this high low side for these two ITBTs. These two lines are reaching and in this point here we have jumper and it is reaching here. For voltage, voltage measurement it will check this line. For current measurement it will check this portion. For main system current for this IPM we have this current sensor for this IPM we have this current sensor and to take a summing output we have this operation amplifier for this system and this operation amplifier for this system. So here is fan drive, fan drive is coming out from the second IPM, the small one, this IPM for main compressor and here we have error indicator. It have just only one LED. It will blink at different rates to indicate the fault in specific area. So we have to find the troubleshooting manual to decode the indication, to decode the blink rate and number of blinkings. So here we have Atmel IC. It is the source code in this IC Atmel IC. It is communicating with processor. Processor will take every, every information from this IC and it will process and it will communicate with the board and it will keep monitoring the functions. Based on the system status, it will communicate with the indoor unit. So friends, I hope so this video is informative for you. If it is informative, give a thumb up. If you have any question, let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.